police say is behind the Fern Creek High School shooting will be charged as an adult. A Jefferson County grand jury made the decision earlier today, and now, for the first time, that young man's mother is speaking out. And she's talking only to WLKY's Lauren Adams. She's live tonight from the Judicial Center tonight with more. Lauren? Good evening to you, Rick. That grand jury indicted Andre Banks on six charges, including assault and wanton endangerment. His mother says her son regrets the shooting, but she believes he should serve time, but not as a 16 year old and as an adult. It's a great kid. Great kid. But that kid, Ebony Pyatt's son, Andre Banks, is now, in the eyes of the court, an adult. Investigators say the 16 year old fired shots at Fern Creek High School on September 30th. Injuring another student and sending a panicked school into lockdown. A grand jury made the decision earlier today. Commonwealth of Kentucky versus Andre David Banks. Pyatt says that's not what's best for her son. She believes, like other juveniles, he should be released at 18. He misses home. He just want to come home. He's just a child that did. A bad thing. He made a wrong decision. Speaking for the first time, Pyatt says she has no idea where her son got the gun or what prompted that shooting. I heard him. If he would have just talked to me and let me know what was going on, it could have ended. I took him out of that school. The victim, 15 year old Javante Burroughs, meanwhile, has not yet returned to school. Ultimately, you know, he's waiting for the doctors to sort of give him the go ahead. And we're, we're hopeful that he'll be back in school you know, before the end of the year. Nathan Williams represents the Burroughs family and says they're pleased with the grand jury's decision. They're obviously happy to get the process started. Um, it's, you know, I guess the sooner it starts, the sooner they'll have some closure. I want to tell the family I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I am sorry. He's sorry. A tragedy Ebony Pyatt is only navigating, thanks in part to her faith. My faith is strong right now, and I believe God's going to bring my son home. No word on when Banks will be arraigned here on those charges because until he's arraigned, Rick Vicky, technically his case is still in the juvenile court system. Now, for now, he remains in a juvenile detention center. His mother says she is able to visit him four times a week for about 30 minutes at a time. She says she'll next visit him on Thanksgiving. We're live downtown tonight. Lauren Adams, WLKY News.